Welcome to our video series on Mastering FTP. In this video, we'll explain what FTP is and how to get started with it. In this video, I'm going to start talking through FTP. And if you do anything with a website, FTP is absolutely fundamental to running a website. But if you aren't familiar with it, it can be quite a confusing subject initially. OK, FTP. It's not vital that you know this, but just for your interest, FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. That's basically a technical way of saying that FTP is the technology that allows you to copy files easily from your computer to your website, and vice versa. So here's basically how it works. Let's say you're using Dreamweaver, or Front Page, and you've created some web pages, and you've sent them to your computer, and you've opened them in Internet Explorer just to see how they look in a browser, and it all looks fine. So now, you think it's time to actually get them live on the Internet. Okay, I'm not going to cover buying your domain name here, which is, of course, your address on the Internet. For example, Yahoo.com is a domain name. I'm going to assume that you have your domain name and have web hosting. But you do need some way to get your web pages from your computer to your website. And that's where FTP comes in. It's effectively software that allows you to copy, to easily copy, files from your computer to your website, and if you wish, from your website to your computer. Once you've become familiar with it, it can be very straightforward to use. Now, there's plenty of FTP software available, and actually, if we quickly go to download.com, I've gone to download.com and just searched for FTP software, and you get lots of software options. It can be a bit overwhelming knowing which one to choose. Sometimes it's helpful to change the license to free to try, or free, and then filter it to list just the free FTP software. So if I quickly do that now, and OK, that's done. And you can also sort in these columns to sort by date or total downloads. If I click on total downloads, the most popular one is, the one with the most downloads to date, is Coffee Cup Free FTP. But I'm going to be doing these demonstrations in the software I use. It's entirely free, and I find that it works very well, and it's quite straightforward to get used to. And it's actually the second most popular one, with over a million downloads to date here, and that's Ace FTP Freeware. If we go back to Google, and if we type in Ace FTP Freeware, or just ACE FTP free, in fact, it should be the top result. And it is. ACE FTP freeware. So left click to go through, and here's the download address, and you can download it for free here. So after you install ACE FTP and start it up, this is how it might look. Yours will probably look quite similar to this, but not exactly the same, of course, for reasons you'll see in just a moment. Now, let me talk you through the interface. It's pretty standard software. Some menus at the top, and some shortcut buttons in the toolbars here. And here, it tells you what site you're connected to. And by default, when you start up the software, you aren't connected to any site. So, let me just disconnect, so you would see how it would look. OK, I'm disconnected, and when you open up the software, this is how it would look because you aren't connected to any website. There's this blank area here, and this is the area that tells you what's going on with the FTP software. As you'll see, it's quite a lot of what are generally technical terms, and you don't need to get too involved with that unless you really want to know what's going on with the technical details behind the scenes. And because this is free software, there is an advertisement here. OK, what we really want to pay attention to are these two sections. On the left here, this area is your computer. 
And on the right here will be when you connect, because you do have to connect, will be your website. So at the simplest level, on the left here, you just navigate through your folders to find the files and folders that you want to upload to your website. Then, when you're connected, you navigate through your website here, and then it's simply a matter of copying the files from the left to the right. The process of copying from the left to the right uploads the files to your website. As a quick demonstration, we can click here and connect. Here's the connect screen. If I select demo site, and connect. Okay, I'm connected because you see that something has appeared here on the right, and that's my website. Obviously, it looks different if you're visiting a website through your web browser, but when you're navigating via FTP, you can see that it looks similar to a computer. It has files and it has folders. And you navigate through the folders to where you want to be. And you see that all this information is starting to appear here, but you generally don't need to worry about that. Unless you really want to get involved in the details, you can see that it says entering passive mode and opening ASCII mode data connection. You don't really need to worry about all that. Okay, anyway, this has been a very quick introduction to what FTP is and how to get started with FTP and what you can expect with FTP. In the following videos, I'll talk you through actually using it for your website.